Americans' Industrial Revolution lasted from 1800 to 1850. The driving forces of the revolution were inventions, transportation, and communications. America's Industrial Revolution was spurred by England's revolution of industry. Steam engines and power looms inspired America to improve its industry. The core of America's revolution of industry was New England. Many factories were held there where children and women worked day and night to provide for their country. After the War of 1812, many inventors such as Eli Whitney, who created the cotton gin, stepped forward. Simone North's invention of interchangeable parts was a revolutionary invention of the time. People could now buy separate parts for items such as pistols and other utensils. Cyrus McCormick's invention of the mechanical reaper allowed for easier agriculture everywhere. Shortly after the invention of the mechanical reaper, John Deere invented the steel plow. This also improved agriculture. It is obvious that this period of time took a great leap in inventions. Before Robert Fulton's invention of the steamboat in 1807, people could only go up the Mississippi one way. Now, after his invention, people could go up and down the Mississippi to exchange trade and commerce. In 1817, New York began work on the Erie Canal. Not only did this new canal provide for trade and commerce, it allowed for 9,000 workers to be employed during its creation. Before trains were invented in the 1800s, the only way to travel or trade was through water. Then, in 1830, Peter Cooper invented a small locomotive that could run on a B&O track. This was the future of American travel. In the very early 1800s, hardly any tracks for trains existed. Then, in 1830, there were 3,200 miles of track and 450 locomotives in the United States. After Benjamin Lincoln invented the pencil system, the Morse code took over American communication. The first telegraph was sent by its inventor, Samuel Morse. It read, What hath God wroth? From that point onward, Telegrams were the number one source of communication until the telephone was invented in the 20th century.